Yuka Bambomti Chini Tanchu Mungong All right, so we are about to take a look at one of the possible reasons that behind closed doors, the lawyers be like, I, I, I gotta, I gotta get this one up. It's no way we about to take this to court and she gonna get on the stand and she think this gonna fly. Like, this is just one of the possible reasons out of all of the reasons that they got to say that. This is just one of the reasons. I'm about to pick this case apart right before it start. Just in my own little too basic to be bougie version of like, if I was a juror and they played this, and then y'all actually got up here and was like, oh, no, she's innocent. She didn't mean it. It wasn't intentional. I be like, fuck, no, y'all making me go to hell by putting somebody in jail, ain't y'all? Ain't y'all? Guilty. <laughs> Allegedly, in my opinion. Let's look at this one. Y'all let me know if y'all agree or disagree. 911, what is the location of your emergency? 4748 France Court, apartment 3. 4748, what's the street name? France, F-R-A-N-T-D. And the apartment number? Three. Is this a police or medical? My boyfriend is dead. Okay, send the line for the fire department. Do not hang up. Mercy. Desk 32, no, please don't leave. 4748, France Lane, apartment 3, France Court. Uh, did When you came over here, I know you said that she called you freaking out saying he was dead. Did she give you any more? Like, did you ask why or she, how? She, or? She, she told me that um, they were playing last night or something and he got in the suitcase and she fell asleep. Okay. That's all she told me, so I don't know anything beyond that. Okay. Um. And I really didn't talk to her much because I came inside. I told her, you need to call the police, and then I came back out, and I think she went on the back porch to smoke a cigarette, so I didn't even really talk with her much. <laughs> oh, like she was going outside? To, did you see her take a cigarette? And yeah, she was going outside with a... Well, I also know when the cops showed up, she kept on telling them she had a cigarette burning out there, and she needed to go put it out. Okay. But they were keeping her away from stuff, I guess. Right. Okay. But, um, yeah, she wanted me to come back there with her. I was like, I'm going out here. I don't really want to be in here, so. Right. Um, and that's when she went to call 911? Well, she called 911 while I was in there. I was standing right in the foyer area. Okay. Um, and, I mean, it was apparently a pretty quick conversation, and that's when she started to go that way, and I just told her I'm going out front, so. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, so they were playing. Okay, so you just got to get this straight. She did CPR in the midst of calling Brian to ask him to come over to help somehow. Brian walks in in the midst of what should be her doing CPR. I am so confused, first off, as to how long of a conversation Brian had with her before she called 911. How long was he standing in the vestibule speaking with her before she called 911? And when did this apparent CPR happen that she did before calling 911? I'm so confused. I am Allegedly, in my opinion, 100% sure she did not do CPR because the one time she put her hands on this man and during this call, she screamed in utter disgust and a fear, in my opinion. I don't know how he got laid out flat outside of this suitcase. I really don't know. I'm not going to speculate. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm going to mind my business on that part. But I'm going to tell you for sure, the CPR that she was doing on this call Brian just said she was outside smoking a cigarette. So I'm confused. I feel like she was out there on a pillow cushion. 
I feel like she was out there on the fucking grass. Uh, I feel like she was moving her body to make the motion. Because right now you can tell I'm moving my body. Oh, one, uh, two, uh, three, uh, oh. But I'm not just saying it. I'm actually moving. So I feel like she was humping on a pillow maybe. This is disgusting. I'm just saying. This is disgusting. This is amazing. But who the fuck would actually get on the stand and say, Oh no, your honor. It was not intentional. I should be let free because he beat me with a curtain rod. And they didn't take it as evidence. And... Um, I fell asleep. I, I don't know. I don't know. With all of the evidence, I know she didn't hurt this shit. I know she didn't hurt. But okay, we ain't even got to the most ridiculous part. I apologize. It's not gonna come until you listen to the whole thing. So I'm gonna shut up now and we gonna we gonna get through it. We gonna get through it. <laughs> Hello? France Court. Yes. Okay, just near Mackenzie Drive. I don't know where that is. Okay, fine, okay. It's Hillwood Park Apartments. Okay, 4748 France, correct? Correct. All right, correct. Now tell me exactly what happened there. Uh, my boyfriend and I were playing last night, and mm -hmm. I put him in a case when we were playing. And okay. Like kind of hide and seek kind of thing. So I fell asleep and I woke up and he was dead in the suitcase. So I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Right, okay, what's the apartment number? Three. Um, I don't know. Apartment three? Yes, like he has like blood coming out of his mouth and I don't know if like he had like an aneurysm or like what happened. Right, okay, all right, okay. Listen, we're getting help out there too. All right, okay. Okay, I. I now? Okay, four oh yeah, man, listen, we're on our way out there. You're at four oh seven seven one six eight six eight, six, eight, four. eight four. Okay, is he hanging from somewhere or what, ma'am? No. I pulled him out of the suitcase. I tried giving him CPR. Out of the, okay. So he's uh, he was in a suitcase? Yes, and I fell asleep. Okay, how old is the how old 42. is the boyfriend, ma'am? Forty two year old male. All right. Okay, we're we're sending we're sending help out there. Share some straight away out there? Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry? Yeah. Okay. All right. Listen to me. Okay. That. Um, that you see. That you need to confirm this one. All right. I understand. I just need to confirm this. Is he? Is he awake at all? Is he conscious at all? No. He's purple. Is he, right. Is he breathing? No. All right. I need you to get. I need you to get him on the floor, flat on his back for I me. Did. Okay. I did. I did. I tried giving him CPR. All right. I tried giving him CPR. Yeah, okay. Well, well, we're, 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 nothing happened. He's purple. Right. Okay, listen to me. There's a defibrillator. I need you to get it for me, okay? What is it? You have an AED, have an AED available? No. All right. Do you write by him now? I'm sorry? You, are you right by him now? Yes. Okay, okay. Lay him flat on his... Okay, ma'am, ma 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 listen. Uh, so, listen. Is he cold and stiff? Yes. Okay. Well, he's okay. not necessarily cold, but he's stiff. And he's right, purple. okay. All right, listen to me. I, uh, listen, listen to me. I want you to lay him flat on his back for me on I the did. floor. I did. Removing the pillows, okay. Yes, I did. All right, okay. We're, He's stiff and purple. Right, okay, listen. Okay, man, that's fine. We're, we're still going to do co compressions on him, okay? When I tell you, I was so happy. Like, it was such a good day. I kid you not. The weather was beautiful outside. I'm the one that had him go inside so we can do puzzles and painting and listen to music or whatever else he wants to do. So then he starts doing whatever it is we're doing together in the living room and then starts talking because I think he gets comfortable with, okay, you know what, we're here, it is a good day. Let me go ahead and explain myself so I know. Nobody else knows, but I know. Nobody knew George better than I did. I say that I knew George better than himself. And I tried in every way, shape, and form. Ask everyone. I helped him. I took care of him. I miss him a lot, and I didn't even sleep last night. I miss him a lot. I mean, is there any chance it got to be too much for you, and you couldn't handle taking care of him? And I never stopped. Trying to I never help stopped. Him. That's what I'm here for. I never stopped. I'm here now because I'm still trying to help him. Yeah. We just... I had a cigarette. I'll get it for you, okay? Wait one second, okay? I really need...
somebody's drink. Okay, well, we'll I got my Dr. Pepper on the counter. Okay, we'll take care of you. Give me one second. Don't my former husband. How did he, he live here with you guys? No. I called him over here. Okay, okay. I didn't know what to do. Okay. I didn't know what to do. Okay. So then he came over here. Here, let's talk in private, okay? I called you guys. Mm -hmm. I tried giving you CPR. I, I, the problem is, is yeah. I fell asleep. I fell asleep. When did you do CPR? This morning. When I found him. Before you called? Yes! It's one o'clock right now. I tried... I was awake, but I actually got out of the bed at like 12.30ish, whatever. So I came downstairs, hey, honey, brother, and I was like, oh, for? he's in the suitcase still. Before, and that's when I found him, and I took him out, and I tried doing CPR, and then I called him, and then I called you guys. Did he get here before the fire department got here? Who? Your husband? Or yes. your ex-husband? Yes. Okay. Where did he live at? Uh, right down the street. Okay. So you were playing, and who did come up in? I did, okay. but then I fell asleep. Okay, okay, stop. You're okay. I don't. I wasn't here. I'm just trying to figure out what happened. I fell asleep, so I don't know if he suffocated or like had an aneurysm or a heart attack or what. What kind of medical conditions did he have? None that I know of. Nothing that you know of. None that I take know any of. No. Medicine? No. No. no medicine. All we had was a bottle of wine. Literally, okay. just a bottle of wine. Okay. Doing puzzle artwork. Then we decided to play hide and seek. Mm -hmm. That's all that happened. Okay. Okay. So I don't know if he had a heart attack or what in there. Like I don't know what happened. So how long were you doing CPR on him prior to you calling 911? You tried that all morning? Yes. Okay. And then I called him while I was what doing CPR. What time did you start? Probably you were in a ballpark. Here, let me fill this deputy in, okay? Please may I have my Dr. Pepper? I am oh, so cut now right now. Call to find out if she was going to be getting him or not today. From school? Yes. Okay. Yes. So um, I started calling like 1130, called every half hour, hour or so, and then finally got a hold of her at... 12.49, which is when she told me what was going on and if I'd come over here, so I came over. She called at 12.45? Yeah, okay. or 12.49. 12.49. Um, got over here, told her she needed to call 911, get somebody over here, okay. and then uh, basically she said she needed to go outside, have a drink and a cigarette. I walked back out the house because I didn't really want to Who be Who called? There. Did you call or did she call? Well, I called. She called me back when I was on my way to make sure I was coming over. But, um, I called her initially. Give me one second, okay? But I called her initially, Do you yeah. have water in your car by any chance? I don't think so. Um, Nothing? No, okay, okay, no, okay. No, I don't. Okay, so she called. You get over here. And so I called. I called her first. Okay. Um, trying to find out if she's going to get Lucas. That's what she told me. Everything's going on. Um, I got my stuff together, put the puppy up in his crate. Um, when I was starting to drive over here, is when she called me to make sure I was coming. And then I got over here right after. Did that. you go inside and see? And then I I, I walked inside the front. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't see the little front tile area. Come I, on, step this way. Mm -hmm. I saw legs. Um, I, I didn't really want to be in there around it, so um, <laughs> I told her. Well, I was just going for to the come sake outside. of the crime scene, I want to know if I were to find your footprint, it would be because you went this far into the house. So did you actually make into thr I don't past think the I, threshold? I don't think I ever made it to the carpet. I think okay. it was just in that. Um, I've been over here before. Right, so, right, I mean, right. <laughs> yeah. But um, no, I don't think I stepped past you that did, okay. um, tile area. Okay. So um, I, I touched doorknob. I think I touched anything in the kitchen. I don't know if that really matters. Yeah. Okay, so that's pretty much the gist of what you have. Well, sit tight for us. All right. Place the heel of your hand on his breastbone, right in the center of the chest, right between the nipples. Yes. Put your other hand on top of that hand. Betty, I'm telling you. Just by okay. looking at him, you can tell. Okay. Ah! Please. Okay, he just gurgled. Okay, okay. L listen to me. All right, I want, to play, I want you to place the heel of your hand. Uh -huh. Okay, right between, right between his chest, right between his breastbones. Yes. Put, your other, put your other hand on top of that hand. Yes, we, want, we want to pump his chest to me hard and fast. Go into this twice per second. I'm doing it again. Okay, no, no, just keep on pumping. That's all you need to do for me. Keep on pumping his chest for me. That's, I don't need you to stop and talk okay. or anything. I just want okay. you to count out loud for me, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Please, if you know what I'm getting at, <laughs> I might not have been leading in the right direction. You might not see what I'm about to say. But if you kind of, it's like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Put it down in the comments. I want you to guess it before I say it, okay? Is she tired? I know she got a full nights of alcoholic rest. I know that one had her on her ass. I do understand. She slept uh, allegedly, in her opinion, until noon. <laughs> but she is so well rested that she is about to do however many minutes. If you give me 15 seconds of CPR, I am breathing harder then, 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 who? Who is the fattest man? You know, fucking Humpty Dumpty trying to put himself back together again. Like, I don't know. Uh, I used to be 400 pounds. It's like me trying to tie my fucking shoes without seeing stars. Like, you give me 15 seconds of any vigorous activity, I'm about to die. Lord Jesus, give me my inhaler and yours too. I just want y'all to focus, focus, focus on the next couple of minutes. The last part of this 911 call while she is in the midst of pretending as if she is going to attempt to keep caring for George. I am only here because I'm still trying to take care of him. So she's about to do her best at doing CPR. Attempting to convince this fire, fire, uh, fire department dispatcher that she is doing CPR at least. <laughs> I honestly don't even think... He believes she's doing it. Um, when he says again they're on their way in the sheriff department too, please, uh, you let me know. Maybe I'm reading too much into it. I kind of felt like he got the heebie-jeebies a little bit too and listening to her after doing the job that he does, hearing people do CPR over and over and over again. I don't know. It kind of just give me that, but I, that could be just me pro projecting. But y'all listen to this. Like I said, give me your opinion. You let me know. If you think she would be able to save your life if she was doing CPR, I don't think she even tried. I don't think she even tried, allegedly, in my opinion. I cannot wait. I pray. Please let this lady take the stand. Please get her on the stand. Yes, Your Honor, she will tell the truth. Okay. Keep pumping this chest for me, ma'am. I'm still doing it, okay? Still doing it. Just don't make me count. Right, okay, that's fine. Just, you did a good job. Just keep on doing it for me. That's. All right, they're getting there as fast as they can, along with the sheriff's office also, okay? Please! Okay, keep on pumping, ma'am. One, we two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Keep on pumping for me, ma'am. I'm not doing it. I'm doing it. Believe me, I'm doing it, okay? We are playing okay. hide and seek. Okay. All right, I understand. All right, just keep on pumping for me, okay? Okay. Please hurry. This right, is okay. Horrible. This is horrific. What happened? Like, what happened? Okay, ma'am, just keep on pumping the chest for me, okay? They're, they're, in, they're, they're in the parking lot. They should be up there shortly, okay? I'm still doing it, okay? All right, okay, good. 
And you found them in a suitcase, you said? Yes. We were playing hide and seek last night. I fell asleep. I think they're here. All right, just keep on pumping the chest until they take over, okay? I am, I am. Okay. Sarah it's amazing I think I just don't give her enough credit she said she was great at everything I do not understand how she is talking as clear as I am very upset I do agree um she's disturbed at the moment because there are some you know activities going on that are disturbing in the home you know but she's very clear, concise. She does not sound like she's taking a double breath um, besides needing to take a deep breath. Maybe um, she's breathing, breathing shallow. I have heard some deep breaths in between just to make sure she can catch up and not get lightheaded. But I've not seen anything of concern. I do not think she needs to sit down, take a break. I think she can continue the CPR that she's doing forever. I took all that time just to say, this motherfucker ain't got out of breath at all. Doing CPR. I got the most embarrassing CPR story, but I clearly remember from all of the times that I have tried to get my certification for CPR, I have been exhausted and not wanted to even do this shit. And the thing is, is most of the time, they don't even make you do it a lot. You ain't even got to go but for like 30 seconds. But to actually make the click, 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 click that you have to make on the dummy while you're actually doing the CPR test, that shit is hard. So 30 seconds, man, I couldn't be a guy, I tell you, because my girl would be unsatisfied. I'm going to just read this story, though. This is just one of the ones that came up when I Googled, <coughs> and I thought it was interesting. It was, it's on Cora, whatever that is, Q-U-O-R-A. O R E R. I don't know. I ain't even gonna lie. I tried to spell. My apologies. <laughs> I can't spell. Um, yeah, it, I Googled it. It's one of them Reddit kind of pages. This is just what came up, and I thought this was interesting. As I tell my students when teaching a CPR class, CPR is a good upper body aerobic workout. You are compressing it down with over a hundred pounds of force. How long you can maintain this is dependent on your physical condition. I would probably be less than 10 minutes even in ideal circumstances. The longest I have done CPR was for two hours. It was a cold water drowning in an eight-year-old. We had four people taking turns and I could hardly move the next day. I can't imagine doing it long on an adult. We would have needed more people to switch off. <laughs> I'm sorry, my nose. I don't know who this lady is. I don't know nothing about nothing about nothing. I don't know if she know nothing about nothing about nothing. But all of her stuff fall in line with everybody else stuff <laughs> i'm not saying sarah was doing it right even if uh she was doing it okay all i'm saying is, is if you move your body in that motion and pretend as if you're saving somebody for a, one minute this was longer than one one minute you would have been a little bit just a tiny bit just somewhat 
out of breath. What the fuck was she doing? Somebody got to explain to me. And then as I got on this little <laughs> rabbit hole, I started listening to other ones. And now I'm about to do another one just about the other witnesses that's going to take the stand. Like this one is nothing compared to the actual people that they're going to be able to put on the stand. Sarah going to lose, boo. Allegedly, in my opinion, I don't know why we going to trial. I really don't. Um, Jesus Christ. Yeah. All right, y'all. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she was doing it and she has really great control of her breath. Yeah. Maybe that's it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let her do CPO on you. I dare you. I dare you. Bye, y'all.